Hello there. Welcome back to the semi-weekly Rockstar Therapy Session. I am, of course, your host, Saints Fan, and today we're going to be asking the question, does Rockstar still want us to play their game, or are they trying to push us away? And the reason we're going to be asking that question is because of two things. Number one, the complete lack of information regarding the next DLC. And number two, the absolutely sad event weeks. Taking a look at this past event week, this is what the double GTA money opportunities were. Three adversary modes. No one cares about adversary modes, but the one in the middle, inch by inch. Remember that. We're going to come back to that in a second. They also said they are returning the fake Vapid t-shirt to the game. Yes, Rockstar returned items to the game instead of releasing one of the 500 that you have locked away. And side note, the shirt that they did decide to bring back is the 420 shirt. 420 is next week, Rockstar. Even say it. Anytime from now until the 17th. Wouldn't it have made more sense to release this shirt next week? But hey, what do I know? But this new event week, it was released on April 11th. Why this is important? If we take a look back three years ago, look at the Newswire article. Inch by inch adversary mode. And guess when it was released. April 12th of 2016. That's what we've come to. Rockstar aren't even making new event weeks. They're just taking things from three years ago and acting like it's new. And that combined with the fact that they have not given us a single piece of information about that next DLC begs the question, do Rockstar even want us to play the game? I mean, for the last couple of weeks, it seems like they are doing everything possible to get us to not play the game. If there's not going to be a DLC or any drip feed, they could at least give us some pretty decent double money weeks. Not just three adversary modes. Or hey, maybe they could start teasing that next DLC, just a screenshot or two here or there. Would that be so hard? I guess so, I don't know. But that about wraps up our time here. So as always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Again, this is therapy after all. Anyways, that's all the time I have here. So thank you all for joining and listening to me. Hope you all have a good night. Look, don't even ask, okay? I, I don't know. Welcome back to this week's Rockstar Logic, though. As always, if you have your own Rockstar Logic you want to submit for a future episode, you can tweet it with the hashtag Rockstar Logic, or you can leave a comment down below. This week, let's start off with the Devastate, the most recent supercar that was added to the game. Now, I'll be honest, I don't know if this is a design flaw or not, but it sure does seem like it is one to me. This car is so damn long. It is one of the longer cars in the game, yet the doors are pretty small and the seating area is really compact for what could be in this car. And you can see when my character sits in and gets into the car, not only does he clip through half the seat, but then his knees are clipping through the freaking middle compartment. I mean, maybe this was intentional, but 
you could have at least maybe pushed the seats back a tad just so our character had a little bit more room. But that's not even the best part about the Dev SD8. I mean, look, we, we, we can already see the fact that he just, he opens the, the car door. There's no handles there. So how does that happen? We're just going to move past that. But looking more specifically at the car doors, I just wanted to know how do these things hang on the car when they are both up? It literally doesn't look like it's connected to anything. It's just sitting there. What sort of magic is connecting the doors, holding the door to the actual car frame? This next one's another classic Rockstar logic. If you are using night vision and you try and take a picture, the game does not let you because that wouldn't make much sense. But if you're wearing thermal vision, the game does not care. And that's where it gets messy. When you're wearing your thermal vision goggles and you use the camera, all of a sudden the camera has thermal vision, which maybe I could see because you're looking through the thermal vision and, and you can kind of see on the camera. So maybe, all right, sure. But then if you took a picture it shouldn't have thermal vision because your camera doesn't have thermal vision. Yet when I take a picture, it's got thermal vision. And to make matters even worse, even crazier, I am taking a freaking selfie. And somehow I can see myself with thermal vision. This next one is actually fallout from the whole Lester money glitch that happened a couple of weeks ago. If you guys didn't know, Rockstar, after like a week and a half-ish of people glitching money from Lester, they decided to just say screw it and they made all of the Pegasus vehicles free to deliver. So no longer did you have to spend $200. You can see every single Pegasus vehicle is free. But it looks like your assistant didn't get the memo because if you go inside and you ask her to deliver you a Pegasus vehicle, it costs money. Now with this one right here, this is actually something I didn't even know you could do. And I, I doubt anyone really knew you could do this because there's no signs anywhere. But at the arena, outside of the arena, if you don't own the arena, then you can actually go up to any of the ticket windows, despite them not looking open, and purchase a spectator's ticket. And guess what? It only costs $10. How nice of Rockstar. But that's the Rockstar logic. The economy in GTA Line is so freaking messed up that a sporting ticket event literally costs the same as $10 sodas if you go up to the grape seed area obviously there's a lot of farming going on so they need water and uh what rockstar have done since grape seeds kind of at the bottom of a mountain they've made it look like water is dripping or coming down the mountain and then going maybe into the alamo sea and that makes total sense i mean despite the fact that there's no water in the mountains and maybe that would only happen if it snowed but we only get snow once a year so how does the water get that we're not going to look too deep into it. it it makes sense i'll just leave it at that but what doesn't make sense is if you walk like a hundred feet down all of a sudden the water is flowing back up how can water flow both downhill and uphill at the same time? And then we have the Ballista Compact, a vehicle I'm sure not many people use, but Rockstar are cheating us out of something on this vehicle. If we take a look at the exhaust, normal, look, it's one exhaust, it works normally, shoot flames and smoke comes out of it. But there's an option in this car to get a dual exhaust. And maybe you buy this car and you want that dual exhaust because you're like, hell yeah, man, I want to see two flames come out. Well, no, 
That doesn't happen. The second exhaust is a complete lie. Nothing's coming out of it. So why is it an option? And then the final thing this week, glass. I don't know if this works just specifically on the place that I'm at, which is the movie theater up kind of at the north of the city, or if this works at many other places. But I clearly put a hole through this glass. Yeah, when I go to the other side, nothing looks like it was done. So that's this week's episode of the Rockstar Logic. Again, I don't ask about the intro. I, I don't know what I was doing. I just was messing around. Thank you all though for watching. Please drop it a like if you did enjoy subscribe for these every ish Sunday. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.